Hi, I'm Arjun from Wizards.exe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program an Angular servo in the block programming language. One thing you should do is make sure that your Angular servo is configured before you actually start programming it in blocks. You can do this through by watching our robot configuration basics video, which goes over how to configure both servos and motors. I'm going to start off by creating a new op mode and I'm going to call it servo test. So now I've opened it. For programming an, a servo in angular mode, you go to actuators, you can go to servo, and you can set servo position, the set servo dot position, and that's going to um, actually uh, put the, um, that's going to set the position to the servo. I accidentally hit the back button, so I'm just going to open up this program again. Okay, so one thing you should do before you actually go through this video is you should also watch our gamepad and our gamepad and telemetry video because I'm going to be using the gamepad for part of this video. So I want to make a pro I want to show you how to make a program that changes the servo position based on the gamepad input. And so what I'm going to do is I want it to be the left joystick Y changes sets the servo position. And so how we do this is we go to our loop, and we go to actuators, servo, and set servo dot position. We can set the servo position to anything between 0 and 1, and it will go to that position. But in order to show, give you a live demonstration, I want to set it to left stick Y. I'm going to save this op mode and exit out of the block programming menu. Now you can see I have our whole control system here. I configured our servo to be named servo and plugged into port 0. I'm going to move the I'm going to select on the fire tablet servo test hit in it and hit play. I'm Now you can see that the servo just moved. Now, when I move the left stick Y, it moves with the servo. So you can see that it, I can get it anywhere in between as the left stick Y is analog. Now there are a few things to note here. There is a drop down on the servo block that allows you to um, change the servo because I named this servo servo. You could name it left, right, flap, something like that. You can change that in the drop down. Another thing to note is about these joysticks is that the servo gives, the gamepad gives a signal for, for the joystick from negative one, or from negative one to one. But the servo can only take a uh, input from zero to one. That means that if the joystick is moved up, it's not going to do anything as it goes to negative one, meaning that it's as if it's at zero. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and email wizards.exe at gmail.com with any questions. Thank you.